Hi, I'm Malcolm Daly, founder of Trango. I started the company in 1991 to bring cool and innovative climbing gear to the market. Today I want to show you how to use the Big Bro. Big Bros have several advantages over traditional cams in their size range. Number one, they're usually considerably lighter in the larger ranges, up, up to 50% lighter. Two, they rack a lot cleaner on your rack. They hang vertically and they keep a nice tight cluster of Big Bros that you can use. They have a huge expansion range. One thing that a lot of people don't realize about Big Bros is that you can place them anywhere in their entire expansion range. You're not restricted to the smaller half like you are with traditional cams. Big Bros are much more stable than cams are when they're placed correctly. You don't dislodge them when you knock by them. Uh, they can serve as a rope guide at the lip of a roof. And in an emergency, you can even stand on them. Try that with a big cam. And last of all, Big Bros are the largest crack protection out there. We can go up to 18 inches with a number five Big Bro. Don't press the release button unless it's against the rock or your hand's there to restrain it. The, the drive spring of the inner tube will eventually cause the stop pin to wear out if you just slam it out there. The other thing you need to worry about is that with the larger sizes, they're actually within ra range of your face when you press that button. And if you do hit it, that drive spring can actually break your nose. So be careful. So let's name the parts of the big bro. There's the outer tube. There's the inner tube, which has the threads on the outside of it. There's the locking collar, the release button, and the rope holes. We recommend slinging the Big Bros with three feet of 5.5 millimeter tech cord. It's available under different brand names from a variety of reputable manufacturers, but be sure that the tensile strength of the cord is at least 3,000 pounds of force. The Big Bros work by expanding against the sides of the crack. If you notice, the ends are sliced at a bit of an angle so that when the Big Bros in there, it sits at an angle with the rope end high. The locking collar fixes it in place. Big Bros work best in the parallel sided splitters of southern Utah, but with a little bit of practice and skill, you can fit a Big Bro almost in any kind of rock. Here we have flared granite cracks in Boulder Canyon, Colorado. 0.5 Big Bro right here, number three Big Bro up there. Both of them are great bomber pieces. All right, now it's time to place a Big Bro. Get to the crack where you think it's gonna, where you think you're gonna fit, and look for parallel sided places. Uh, th that's always gonna be the best if you can find them. If not, look for little knobs or or, or bulges that you can nestle the end of the um, uh, the, the tubes over. Put the big bro up there, place the end of the inner tube flat against the rock somewhere or over that knob, press the release button, and expand the big bro into its place. Now, before you screw that collar down, uh, wiggle it around a little bit and find a place where it'll just feel like it sits solidly. And then go ahead and screw that collar down really tight. Tug it just to make sure it'll settle in there. And then, voila, you've got a bomber multi-directional anchor. Almost impossible to dislodge this as you go by it. All right, taking a big bro out is a thing of beauty. They never, ever walk back into cracks, so you can't overcam them. Um, all you do is reverse the moves you did to start. You unscrew the locking collar, make sure to spin it all the way to the end, and then force the outer tube down over the inner tube the release button will engage and you can just lift it out. Sweet, huh? When the locking collar no longer spins freely, it's time for some maintenance. The threads are pretty well protected, but eventually they may get dinged up and it's time to clean them up because letting that collar spin freely is the key to quick and simple one-handed placements with a big bro. Uh, if they do get dinged up, clean them up, clean up the threads with a file or a piece of emery paper, and then lubricate it with Elmer's Slide All. Thanks for watching and climb safe.